Okay, so here's the situation. We're on a covered porch in the back of this house. We're facing Lake Austin. I've got lots of coverage here, but even with a slope, it's possible if we had a really big storm with a lot of wind, we could get water. Now, of course, the architects I work with love that indoor outdoor space. We don't want a step or we want a real minor step between the inside and the outside, but how do we waterproof it? Here's a quick tip for you. So here's what we've got. Inside slab and outside slab are basically the same elevation. And then we're sloped on the outside. But here's how we stop that water. We've made a stainless steel pan. This door is set in that pan. You see we've got an upturned lip on the back. So any water coming in there is going to hit that upturned lip. When we tile this, the tile is going to end up being nearly flush with the door. So we won't have much of a step. And with this stainless pan, we've kerf cut the concrete right here. And then you see we've got a, a bent lip on the front of that pan. We've set the pan down into the sealant. So now as water comes in here, it won't be able to get underneath the pan. And if it were to get past this door pan, it's going to hit this upturned lip right here. Now what happens when you get to the wall? Let's come around here and I'll show you what we've done for the wall space. Same idea at the wall. We've got a kerf cut in the concrete. We've set this flashing into that sealant so we can't get water underneath here. And you can't see it, but here that stainless flashing actually comes here so we could lap our waterproofing. Our Aluma flash is wrapped over that, or if you had a peel and stick house wrap, you'd wrap over top of that. Now that water that comes up here is going to hit that stainless and it won't be able to affect the wood, won't be able to get in the house. Great tip. I learned this from my buddy Andrew a while back and I've loved using this on my jobs. Hey, to see photos from our jobs under construction, make sure you hit the follow button on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.